Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue uh, viewing history through reading. I'm going to continue to read. Atonement money. And then the Lord said to Moses, One, you take a census of Israelites to count them. Each one must pay the Lord a ransom for his life at the time he is counted. Then no plague will come on them when you number them. Each one who crosses over to those already counted is to give a half shekel, according to the secondary shekel, which weighs twenty gerahs. This half shekel is an offering to the Lord. All who cross over, those twenty years old or more, are to give an offering to the Lord. The rich are not to give more than a half shekels, and the poor are not to give less than when you make the offering to the Lord to atone for your lives. Receive the atonement money from the Israelites and use it for the service of the tent of meeting. It will be a memorial for the Israelites before the Lord making atonement for your lives. Basin for Washing then the Lord said to Moses, Make a bronze basin with its bronze stand for washing. Place it between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it. Aaron and his sons are to wash their hands and feet with water from it. Water, whenever they enter the tent of meeting, they shall wash with water so that they will not die. Also, when they approach the altar to Minister by presenting an offering made to the Lord by fire, they shall wash their hands and feet so that they will not die. This is to be a lasting ordinance for Aaron and his descendants for the generations to come. Anointing oil. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take the following fine spices, 500 shekels of liquid mare, half as much, that is, 250 shekels of fragrant cinnamon, 200 shekels of fragrant cane, 500 shekels of cassia, all according to the secondary shekels, and a hin of olive oil. Make this into a sacred anointing oil, a fragrant blend, and the working of a perfumer. It will be the sacred anointing oil. Then use it to anoint the tent of meeting, the ark of the testimony, the table and all its articles, the lampstand and its accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offerings and all its utensils, and the basin with its stand. You shall consecrate them so that they will be most holy and whatever touches them will be holy. Anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them so they may serve me as priests. Say to the Israelites, This is to be my secret anointing oil for the generations to come. Do not pour it on men's bodies, and do not make any oil with the same formula. It is sacred, and you are to consider it sacred. Whoever makes perfume like it, and whoever puts it on anyone other than a priest, must be cut off from his people. Incense. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take fragrant spices, gum, resin, onicha, and gobble, no, and pour frankincense all in equal amounts, and make a fragrant blend of incense. The work of a perfumer, it is to be sorted and pure and secret. Grind some of it to powder and place it in front of the testimony in the tent of meeting. Where I will meet with you, it shall be most holy to you. Do not make any incense with this formula for yourselves. Consider it holy to the Lord. Whoever makes the any like it to enjoy its fragrance must be cut off from its people. Bezeot and Ohaliab. 
by the Leo and Ahalia. Chapter 31. Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen by the Leo, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with skills, ability, and knowledge in all kinds of crafts, to make artistic designs of work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in woods, and to engage in all kinds of craftsmanship. Moreover, I have appointed Ohalia, son of Ahisamach of the tribe of Dan, to help him. Also, I have given skills to all the craftsmen to make everything I have commanded you. The tent of meeting, the ark of the testimony with the atonement cover on it, and all the other furnishings of the tent, the table and its articles, the pure gold lampstand and all its accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offerings and all its utensils, the basin with its stand, and also the woven garments, both the sacred garments for Aaron and the priest, and the garments for his sons when they serve as priests, and the anointing oil and fragrant incense. For the holy place they are to make them just as I commanded you. Sabbath. Then the Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, You must observe my Sabbaths. This will be a sign between me and you for the generations to come, so you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. Observe the Sabbath because it is holy to you. Anyone who desecrates it must be put to death. Whoever does any work on that day must be cut off from the, his people. For six days work is to be done. But the seventh day is a Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day must be put to death. The Israelites are to observe the Sabbath, celebrating it for the generations to come as a lasting covenant. It will be a sign between me and the Israelites forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he obtained stained from working and tested, rested. When the Lord finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him the two tablets of the testimony, the tablets of stone inscribed by the finger of God. I'm going to stop here and continue next time. Thank you for watching.